We now present the Veteran of the Year Award to Dr. Rory A. Cooper. Um, I actually feel a little guilty getting this award, to be honest. Uh, um, I'm, uh, I'm not a combat veteran. Uh, um, I, was, you know, I was injured in a peacetime training for athletics. I'm very touched that they would select me to be the Veteran of the Year. I, uh, I guess I tried to do is uh, help other veterans uh, with the talents that I have. And I spend a couple of days every month at Walter Reed and um, helped out at Lodge Duel and Bethesda and CFI and Balboa to see what those soldiers have gone through. And I, I, I guess I've been injured long enough and been around long enough. I've had, this, is, this is essentially my third war. Um, and uh, I started out with going through my own rehab with Vietnam veterans and their adjustment and, and saw the um, Veterans Wheelchair Games was so important to them. And uh, then the first Gulf War and, and uh, see them coming through our laboratories and working with us and, and at the Veterans Wheelchair Games and other events and to paralyzed veterans and now um, for over eight years in, in Afghanistan and Iraq. It's, it's uh, some of the things that those people do are tremendous. I, I'm honored uh, just to be able to help. When I got injured while serving in Europe, I um, returned to wheelchair sports. And I think the two tie together really uh, a lot about what I am today, and that's the dedication to helping uh, veterans with disabilities from being a veteran myself and those experiences and the way that uh, I was uh, assisted by my friends from the Army and still today. Uh, and um, also my interest in athletics and trying to combine the two of them and competing in the Veterans Wheelchair Games and in marathons and eventually competing in the Paralympic Games in 1988 and later on to being a uh, sports scientist for the Paralympic team in, in uh, 2008 in Beijing and helping our 2012 team as well as trying to help improve veterans and uh, taking that same sort of experience and applying it at Walter Reed and helping the uh, young injured veterans to uh, what I call active rehab. So really focused on uh, improving their quality of life through participation in sports, challenging themselves for educationally, physically, and, and mentally so that they uh, use that as tools to reintegrate in the community. So it's kind of the concept of taking the uh, tactical athlete in the military and transferring that into um, focusing on their rehab from their disabilities. So um, a lot of that that I learned early has sort of motivated me through my college education while getting my bachelor's and master's and PhD and then uh, using that to help other people. I'm leaving tomorrow to do the Army 10 miler uh, with a, a young uh, soldier who's actually still undergoing rehab who, uh, developed a spinal cord injury in, uh, uh, from an IED in uh, Afghanistan. Uh, and uh, I, t I try to get down to uh, Walter Reed whenever they have a spinal cord injury person come through. He called me up a few weeks ago. Uh, when I was talking with him, I sort of casually said, well, if you're ready, we'll do the Army 10-miler together. And I'll be his battle buddy on Sunday. We'll ride together. You know, that's the, those are the most satisfying things. And, and there's a number of stories like that, veterans that... Uh, that we've helped through the Veterans Wheelchair Games or using our technology like the Natural Fit Hand Rim. When I go out uh, to various events or you know, in the community, I see people using our technology and it's reducing their, their arm pain and they're allowing them to be more active in the community. My research has expanded. I was pretty much solely in spinal cord injury and then now I've really expanded into traumatic brain injury, polytrauma, and even some amputee work, realizing that you know, technology can help all of these populations and there's a lot of similarities in there, uh, that we can help them with. And then that's brought us in working with the rehab counselors and the psych neuropsychologists a lot more in, in how technology like PDAs and things like that can work as cognitive aids to help people uh, function. So it all really comes back to quality of life and community participation. I do think it's at least, you know, you get an education and you find employment and you have a good family life and you can participate in society, that helps you physically, physiologically, and mentally.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'll bet you didn't know we had one of the leading human rehabilitation engineers in the world here in Pittsburgh. We're pleased to present the Veteran of the Year Award to Dr. Rory A. Cooper. Thank you, everyone. For those of you who know me, I usually don't have prepared remarks, but uh, this is such an auspicious occasion. I wanted to be a little bit prepared. Um, and I hope that I can get through this without breaking up. I'm deeply honored and uh, grateful for receiving this recognition of my work and that of my colleagues and for my dedication to veterans. It's truly awe-inspiring when one thinks of the esteemed individuals who have received this distinction before me and of the contributions of tonight's other awardees. While it is impossible to thank everyone that has helped me or created opportunities for me to serve along the way, please let it suffice to say that I thank all of you who are here this evening and the many people who are unable to join us for this wonderful event. I would be remiss not to express my deepest gratitude to my wife, Rose Bree, who forged a future together with a young soldier and helped to guide me through many, of, many trying and even near-death experiences, never wavering in her encouragement, support, and love. I strongly believe, as do many of you, in the soldier's credo to never leave a fallen comrade. Over the years, I have learned that this extends to all veterans, and indeed to all people with disabilities. At the Veterans Leadership Program, we know this all too well. As some of you know, this is the year of the NCO, Major General Ken Farmer, the son of Ken Farmer, a Bataan Death March survivor and a friend of mine, introduced me to his father by saying, Rory Cooper is an excellent example of how well the Army trains its young NCOs. The Army taught me the values that have guided me through life and provided me with lasting bonds to soldiers, sailors, coasties, airmen, and even Marines. <laughs> I am deeply indebted to the soldiers that I served with and who sorted me, supported me regardless of the circumstances. And I'd like to dedicate this award to my fallen comrade, Sergeant Charles Reedy, who died much too young and who in life always had my back. I'm a person who needs to contribute and belong to something important. I try to live my life by the sentiment expressed in the quote by Colonel John Glenn. If you ever get the opportunity to do something or be a part of something, far greater than you seize that opportunity. I think the people at VLP share this view as well. I'd also like to invite you to join me in supporting the National Veterans Wheelchair Games when they come to Pittsburgh in August of 2011, and to witness the amazing accomplishments of over 600 military veterans with severe disabilities as they participate in athletic competition. I'd like to thank all of you and all veterans for giving me the chance to become the man that I am today. <laughs> 